Hi Sir Jojo! Hello! Ang fresh fresh at guwapo naman. Uh, thank you, thank you for uh, having me Sir Adam. Nakakatawa, nakataba ng puso. Yes, alam mo Sir, super amazed ako. First of all, congratulations po because ang ganda-ganda ng concept ng photoshoot mo for the campaign of Jojo Bragay shoot sa Miss Universe Philippines. Ano ba yung concept? Alien slash spider woman. Lahat sila parang Ganun, ano tawag dun sa ano sa concept? Yung concept kasi namin, technically, parang, di ba ngayong taon sinasabi nila na parang ang daming magaganda, ang daming magagaling. So, yung concept namin is like blood bath on our own perspective. So, kung makikita mo lang yung, yung mga photo, parang alam mo yung maganda ka, tanging weapon na meron ka is beauty. So, ganun namin siya kinonceptualize. So, si Derek Crod and then si Migo, na nakausap ko, nag-meeting ako, sabi ko, gusto kong makita yung ganong konsepto ng bad blood, ay, blood bath sa gagawin naming ad campaign for this year. So, kung makikita mo, yung video kasi yung iba, hindi nila naintindihan. Pero parang, for example, yung isang nag-opening, like for example, Quezon Province, parang ako magsisimula, ako magsisimula ng laban. Di ba? And then, there's like four other women na sinasabi nila na, Um, hindi, isa sa amin ang dapat manalo. And there's like Bulacan also na parang hindi nyo magigyan mo na moment. Magigyan mo na moment like Bulacan. Yes, na parang hindi nyo man ako masyado pinapansin pero I'm like the dark horse of the, of the batch. So, may ganun kaming narrative. So, I'm very grateful to direct Rod Singh, award-winning Rod Singh and Migo for styling and for creating everything. And yung mga kuko and yung makeup doon na lang namin pwedeng idaan yung fierceness eh. So, yun. TVV, naging mapa ng Pilipinas. Yes. So, parang it's like messaging na parang ako naman, I miss Philippines. Parang something like that. So, bawat isa sa kanila, may kanya-kanyang eksena. And then, si Alexi naman, parang yung messaging is like, ako ang bragais. Hawa ko na ang bragais. Something like that. So, ang saya lang nung narrative kung paano namin nilaro. Brilliant. Pinag-isipan po compared to the previous campaigns at alam mo yung pinatayo nyo lang sila dun sa Okada. Tapos, eto talaga, wow! Spider woman na spider woman na alien na hindi ko maintindihan yung concept. So, ano talaga pinagkakagasa sa nyo talaga yung shoot? Parang wow for you to employ so many people and candidates under one roof to assemble that kind of photo shoot. Wow. Uh, siguro yung shooting crew, more than 60. Ganun kadami. And then matagal namin siyang pinagplanuhan. So, before ng Miss Universe, nagpaplano na kami about kung ano yung concept namin for this year. And, um, gasos, oh malaki siya. As in, effort talaga. Kasi, Di ba lahat naman ng magagandang bagay kailangan may, 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 may cost. So siguro natuwa ako lumipad siya, kinatuwa ng mga tao, photos and videos. So parang yun na lang yung balik sa amin in return. So yun. And parang ako lagi kong sinasabi na gusto ko gumawa ng something na alam mo yung masaya yung pageant fans. Alam mo yung ganun, na parang kasiyahan to, parang celebration to. So gusto ko na ano, ibigay sa mga pageant fans yun. yun. Oh, uh, as a Miss Universe sponsor, nage evolve ka ha? in terms of creativity. Yeah. So speaking of being a Miss Universe sponsor, how do you feel, you know, um, about everything that's going on uh, with this season being touted as Bardagulan? Does it help the? Um, does it help that uh, uh, now your uh, this year Miss Universe has assembled a strong batch, so para to to attract sponsors like you? Um. Oh. Oh. Like. Uh, yan ang gusto ko sa'yo, Sir Adam, ha? Laging mga very intellectual yung question. Um, sa akin, oo. Parang alam mo yun na parang sometimes it's important na mar marketable yung mga babae. Because syempre yun na business perspective, di ba? Parang makakatulong sa'yo to promote your, your business. Pero at the same time, maganda rin na authentic yung mga babae. Na they get to share their story. So, para sa akin, you just need to find the balance of parang the pageantry side and the marketability side. So, yun. So, yun guys, ha? Uh, the pageant balance ng pageantry side tsaka ng marketing side. So, important pa rin talaga beauty, no? Oo, kasi minsan napapansin ko yung mga babae, like for example, hindi nila masyado alam yung ginagawa nila. Like for example, sa akin, sapatos, they're modeling for shoes. Sometimes, lagi silang nasa mukha, nasa katawan. Parang they need to understand that when they appear for a certain sponsor, they represent the sponsor and not, th not themselves alone. So siguro yun yung mga bagay na kailangan maintindihan ng mga ibang candidates na kapag beauty products, so syempre, eh, ang focus naman nasa face, di ba? Kapag mga accessories naman, kung asaan naman nilalagay yung accessories, so it's something na kailangan nila maintindihan. So it's not just about yourself, but also about the brand. So yun. Naman, kasi nowadays pageantry has become 
some sort of a business deal or parang you have to think from a business standpoint for pageantry to Oo, kasi minsan di ba yung mga babae, same-same na lang yung poses. Parang sakit ulo pose, sakit batok pose, and then pag tiningnan mo kung ano yung brand na ini-endorse nila, parang hindi nagkukunek. So I guess yung mga pumapagin, that's something that they need to understand and to learn na, alam mo yun, you get to model for a certain brand. So yung galaw mo, kilos mo, damitan mo, it's, it depends. Yun. Last question, yung, the way you talk about it, marketing, uh, the business side of things, are you speaking from from experience, or, I mean, fr from your personal point of view, or are you speaking from, from the perspective of a Miss Universe Philippine sponsor or a Miss Universe sponsor? Uh, Pare-pareho. Sa akin, pare-pareho na. Kasi alam mo naman, Sir Adam, nagsimula lang naman ako. Wala naman akong masyadong alam. Then along the way, naaral ko na lang siya in working on different organization, malalaki, maliliit. So I get to understand the, how the whole system works. So parang ako, lagi lang ako na parang I would want to do something and Kung ano man yung mga hindi magaganda, ayaw kong isipin yun. I want to focus on the beautiful things and um, how Braga issues in a way could uh, inspire and um, do something different every year. Yun. Uh, alam mo, based sa mga sinabi mo, may idea na kung sino mananalo sa May 20. <laughs> hindi ako pwede magsalita, pero ang daming magaganda. Bilog ang bola, alam mo yan. So, Basta sobrang daming maganda. So this year nga, hindi mo nga alam eh. Kasi nakakatawa, di ba, na parang if you see another candidate, parang a certain candidate will always fall short in one category. So parang kahit sino, it's equal chances of, of, of winning. So bahala na ang judges. So I'm very happy na hindi ako judge. So yun. Last question. Ano pang aasahan namin for, from Jojo Bragay's shoes in the next few months or later this year? Or are, are there any big projects coming ahead? Um, we had the shoot with Shanice, so ilalabas siya soon enough after ng Miss Universe Philippines. So the concept naman nun is about inspiring pageant queens from different parts of the Philippines. So abangan yun guys, um, mapapaiya kayo, mapapaluha kayo. So yun, something that pwede nyo. Yeah, so shall I assume Miss Universe sponsor ka ulit? Um, um, Mahirap magsalita, pero we'll see, Sir Ada. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Sir Jojo. Thank you for engaging me in this very short ambush interview. Super nakakatuwa ka to, see, to, to pick your brain about the business. Thank you, Sir Adam. Thank you. Pleasure is mine. Thank you. And see you on Wednesday.